Hey everyone, Andrew Webbers here for another edition of Fleeting Edge TV from GearLive.com. Today we're speaking with Lytro. Lytro makes a camera that allows you to take pictures and it captures the light field. And then based on that information, and I am not a technical guy that uh, understands how all this works, but when you take a photo with the Lytro camera, you can refocus those photos after the fact. So in other words, you take a photo, just snap it. And then afterwards, you can see the photo and you can decide, no, you know what, I want this, uh, whatever it is up front to be in focus. And then you can change it again. Actually, I want what's behind it to be in focus. And you can just keep changing the focus after the image has already been taken. It's, it's like magic. It's not something that uh, we've ever had access to until Lytro released it. And now we're going to speak to them about how the camera works and how you can get one of your own. Stay tuned. Two thousand twelve with Eric Chang of Lytro. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Doing fantastic. If you're unfamiliar, Lytro makes this camera right here. This is the camera. And what's interesting about it is that when you take the image, you can actually refocus it after taking the image. So it's much less of a worry up front. Tell us about how this all works. So this is the world's first consumer light field camera, and what that means is we capture. Uh, the light field. Now, light field is like a normal picture, except that it also captures the direction of light at every point of capture. Okay. So think of light traveling in rays in the real world. We are taking a snapshot of that light field. It's multi-dimensional data, and then after the fact, in the computer, also in the computer and the camera, we are doing a lot of computational heavy lifting to make it both refocusable and to make it so that you can change the center of perspective. Okay. So, in, uh, in layman's terms, in simple terms, what does that mean for the average consumer who's, who might want to pick this up? Why would they want to pick that up? So, what it means is that we're capturing much more information about the real world. And practically, that allows you to refocus pictures after you've taken them. So, if something's out of focus, you can change the focus after it's been taken. Uh, and you can make everything in focus. Um, and you can also make these little interactive, what we call living pictures, which, which you can play with uh, both on the camera in the desktop application and on the web. So you can send a picture to a friend, they can interact with it, maybe there's a reveal, there's something blurry that when revealed tells a story or is just, you know, part of, you know, maybe it's the best photo bomb ever or something like right. that. Um, and the uh, perspective shift adds a lot of three-dimensional, it's basically three, uh, a different way of looking at 3D information. So you, you really, you can see the 3D structure of the scene immediately. Right, right. I saw one of the, it was basically, it looks like it almost just shifts the image ever so slightly, but all of a sudden it looks like, you know, you're looking at my, I'm looking at my com computer screen, and it's like there's actually something like coming out of it. It looks so real. Yeah, it's just, if you imagine like just moving your head a little bit, left, right, up and down, that's basically what it does. Okay. So where can people find these? So people can find these uh, in a few places on our website at lytro.com. They can find them on Amazon at bestbuy.com and uh, at target.com and also at city targets. Uh, those are the only brick and mortar places in the U.S. where we're showing them. City targets is the place to go. Now can you actually show us the process of taking an image on this? Just so we can like see what it looks like. So you can see here. So there's an LCD on the back of the screen. Uh, there are only two buttons on the camera, a power button and a shutter button. You push a button, the camera turns on. Uh, and now you can zoom by sliding your finger left and right on this little zoom slider up here. Um, and aside from that, it's just pushing the shutter button. So maybe I'll take a picture of you here. Uh, I'll use your mic in the front, you and then someone in the background. Ready, one, two, three. Now there's almost no shutter lag, it's 20 milliseconds, so very fast. Playback is swiping from left to right. Uh, there's that picture we just took of you. It does process for a few seconds, and now you can see that if I tap on the display here, it will focus, and I can tap in the background there, it'll refocus to the background. And where's, there's your microphone. There we go. Now, after you have it on the camera, you attach it to the computer using micro USB, imports all the pictures, processes them, and then from there you can push them to the web where they'll be interactive for you and all of your friends. 
That is a, it's like magic. It's amazing. It it's amazing. Like magic, Super yeah. cool. Eric, we appreciate you taking the time to show it to us. How much do these cost, by the way? Uh, this is a model that costs $4.99. We have a $3.99 model as well. Uh, the difference is in the color and the um, number of pictures they hold. Okay. So basically storage space. And if, you, if you're fine with a plain color and less storage space, you can get it $100 less. Check them out. Lytro. Is it Lytro.com? Lytro.com. Lytro.com. Check out some of the interactive features they have there as well. Check it out. See how it works. It's cool. We'll have more from CES 2013 in just a minute.